This video is sponsored by iSunshare. Today I will show you how to clone an HDD or SSD drive with the help of iSunshare Clone Go. Clone Go is reliable partition and this clone software to copy, backup and restore Windows system or partition. Also you can clone the whole hard disk directly. It is 100% secure and clean to clone disk and partition. So let's get it started. First of all, to download the software, you need to open your browser. In my case, I will use Microsoft Edge browser. Then you need to type next. iSunshare.com slash clone go. iSunshare.com slash clone go. After this, you need to press enter. On this page, you may see the main advantages of Clone Go. For the example, you can clone Windows OS or the entire disk to SSD HDD without reinstalling, backup and restore system partitions with no data loss, clone partitions or system to protect your data, clone dynamic volume to basic disk, intuitive set and run software, super easy to use. If we scroll down a little bit, you may see the main benefit that we're going to use today. Clone Windows operating system to and SSD, HDD, support Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. To download this utility, you need to click on download, and it will automatically download on your laptop or PC. It may take a few seconds. As you can see, I successfully downloaded the installer and now we can open the folder to install this application. Also, you can close the browser if you wish. Now you need to double click on this application, Double click, select yes, click next, agree with all terms and conditions, and finally click install. It may take a few seconds, so be patient and take your time. Voila, we successfully installed iSunshare Clone Go on my laptop. Now we can uncheck this option, but if you wish, you can leave them by default and click finish. Now we need to connect the HDD or SSD drive to the PC on which we want to migrate Windows. For this, I will use a USB SATA adapter. Such a Tetris game, I successfully connected my HDD drive to SATA adapter and finally inserted USB cable into the laptop. I succeed and now we can run this application. So double click on it, click yes. So fellas, in our case, we will click on this clone. We will use clone feature. Click on it. Click on source disk to choose the disk to clone. As you can see, the main operating system is here. So it is disk zero. So I will click here and select disk zero. Don't be confused if you see two storage devices because this is SATA adapter. So I will close it. And the second one is a hard drive, which I connected using SATA adapter. Now you need to choose the connected drive as the target disk, which is used to save the clone drive. As I previously said, it is disk two. So I will click here and select disk two in my case. If you wish, you can check this option and decide what will happen after cloning the drive. Shut down the power, restart the system, or use the hibernate mode. In my case, I will uncheck all of these options, but of course, it all depends on you. After all this process, you need to click on start. Just warning you, all data will be deleted from your SSD or a hard drive on which you want to migrate Windows. Select yes. Be patient and wait for the cloning to complete. The time will depend on the amount of storage on your HDD or SSD drives. After all this process, you will see next message. Hard disk copy completed successfully. So just click OK. After this process, I recommend to close this utility and safely remove your hard drive from the laptop. So you need to click here and select your hard drive. In my case, I will select external disk 3.0. And actually that's all. As a final result, we managed to clone our disk and now we can install it in the laptop or PC and use it without any problems. I would like to know that in order to fully use the software, you need to purchase a license. It is very important to know. 